We're diving into a truly intriguing piece of American currency, the 1967 No Mint Mark Washington Quarter. Believe it or not, this coin could be worth a small fortune. Let's rewind to 1967. The United States was going through some fascinating times, from the Vietnam War to the Summer of Love, this era was packed with history. But at the U.S. Mint, a significant change was happening. To help combat widespread coin shortages, the Mint decided to stop placing mint marks on most coins from 1965 to 1967, including the Washington Quarter. The 1967 Washington Quarter was struck without a mint mark, meaning that none of these coins will have a D or S on them to indicate where they were minted. This was part of the government's initiative to discourage hoarding during a time when people were eager to collect coins with mint marks. The 1967 quarter is 91.67% copper and 8.33% nickel. The design features George Washington on the obverse, or head's side, and the traditional American eagle on the reverse, or tail's side. Now, while many of these coins are just worth their face value, there are rare varieties and high-grade examples that can fetch a significant price. In fact, finding a 1967 quarter in mint state condition, that is, with almost no wear, is relatively rare. And that's where the value lies. Coins graded MS-65 or higher can be worth hundreds, and those with higher grades or unique errors can go for thousands, or even millions, depending on their rarity. Some 1967 quarters have unique errors that make them even more valuable. Look out for double die varieties, where the design appears doubled, or planchet errors, where the coin was struck on the wrong metal. Coins with these kinds of errors are extremely rare and could command very high prices. Back in 2020, a 1967 Washington Quarter graded MS-67 sold for nearly $6,000. And who knows, maybe that unassuming quarter sitting in your change jar could be the next to bring in big bucks. In exceptional cases with unique error combinations or ultra-high grades, these quarters have been rumored to reach six figures. Now, you might be wondering, how do I know if my 1967 quarter is worth anything? First, examine the coin's condition. The fewer scratches and signs of wear, the better. Next, use a magnifying glass or a jeweler's loop to look for any errors, such as doubling or misprints. You can also have your coins professionally graded by a company like PCGS or NGC. These companies provide an official grade, which significantly impacts the coin's value. If you happen to find a 1967 quarter graded MS-65 or higher, you could be holding onto a very profitable piece of history. So, there you have it. The story of the 1967 Washington Quarter, a coin that holds more than just face value. Whether it's for the history, the rarity, or the potential jackpot, this quarter is a must-have for collectors and enthusiasts alike. Who knows? Your next pocket change find could be worth thousands, or even millions. We're diving into the fascinating world of the 1978 D. Washington Quarter. Could this everyday coin be hiding a fortune? Stay tuned as we explore the history, unique features, and potential worth of this quarter that might be worth far more than 25 cents. First things first, let's set the stage. The Washington Quarter was introduced in 1932 to commemorate the 200th birthday of the nation's first president, George Washington. The design was so well-loved that it stayed largely the same until 1999. Today, we'll specifically talk about the 1978 Denver Minted Quarter, also known as the D Quarter. So, what makes the 1978 D Washington Quarter special? Minted in Denver, Colorado, these quarters have a small D right below the eagle on the back. While many quarters were made that year, there are a few factors that might make some of them incredibly valuable. The 1978 D Quarter is primarily made of copper and nickel, but collectors look for any unique variations, errors, or high-grade conditions that could set it apart. Some coins from that year have been found with fascinating minting errors, like double dies or off-center strikes. These errors can boost the value of a quarter by thousands of times. Now, let's talk numbers. 
While an average 1978 D quarter in circulated condition might only be worth face value, coins in pristine condition, those graded as mint state, or MS, can be worth hundreds, even thousands of dollars. That's because finding an untouched, high-grade quarter from over 40 years ago is incredibly rare. If you're lucky enough to find a 1978 D quarter in MS67 condition or higher, it could fetch a substantial price at auction. Some recent sales have seen these quarters going for well over a thousand dollars. And while this may not be millions, it's certainly a nice return for a simple quarter. So, could there be a 1978 D Washington quarter worth millions of dollars? Technically, number 1978 D quarters have been confirmed to reach that kind of price. However, as interest in coin collecting grows, who knows what could happen? High demand and low supply can always change the market. Remember, the true value of any coin is determined by its condition, rarity, and the enthusiasm of collectors. If you've got a 1978 D quarter, don't dismiss it as mere pocket change just yet. It could be a hidden treasure. So there you have it, the fascinating history and potential value of the 1978 D Washington quarter. Be sure to check your change, and if you find a quarter from this year in pristine condition, you might just be holding on to a small fortune. We're uncovering the secrets behind a coin you might not even realize could be worth a small fortune, the 1981 P. Washington Quarter. First, let's set the scene. The Washington Quarter has been in circulation since 1932, designed by sculptor John Flanagan to honor the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth. Fast forward to 1981, a time when coin collecting wasn't quite as popular as it is today. The 1981 P quarter might look ordinary at first glance, but it's got a bit of a hidden history. So, what makes the 1981 P Washington quarter stand out? Well, coins from this year and mint mark are known to have some unique qualities, specifically in terms of errors and varieties. This particular quarter was struck at the Philadelphia Mint, indicated by the P mint mark. Notably, 1981 was a year when minting errors were relatively common, making these coins quite collectible. One reason collectors seek out the 1981 P quarter is due to some fascinating mint errors. There are a few varieties, like the double die obverse or reverse errors and even off-center strikes. If you have a quarter with any of these features, you could be holding on to something valuable. Errors like these are known to increase the coin's value significantly, sometimes into the thousands, depending on the condition and error rarity. But here's the real shocker, the highest graded 1981 P quarters, especially those graded MS-68 or higher by PCGS or NGC, are incredibly rare. Collectors can pay thousands of dollars for a coin in pristine condition. And in the most extreme cases, some can even reach into the millions if they have the right combination of rarity, error variety, and immaculate condition. Want to know if you've got a winner? Here's what to look for. First, check for any unusual features like doubling on the text or design elements. Then, closely inspect the coin for any signs of mint errors, like an off-center strike or planchet flaws. Finally, if you think you've got something special, consider sending it to a reputable grading service. This can help authenticate your coin and give you an accurate sense of its worth. As with all collectible coins, the value of the 1981 P quarter fluctuates based on demand, rarity, and condition. High-grade and error coins can fetch impressive prices at auctions or in private sales. So, it's always worth checking the market trends if you believe you found a valuable coin. And there you have it, the story behind the 1981 P. Washington quarter. While not every quarter from this year is worth millions, certain ones definitely can be. So, next time you're checking your pocket change, keep an eye out for those hidden gems. Who knows? You might be holding on to a fortune without even realizing it. We're diving into the history and hidden value of the 1983 P. Washington quarter. At first glance, it might look like just another quarter in your pocket, but some of these coins can be worth thousands of dollars, stick around to find out what makes this coin so valuable, 
and what details to look for that might make your 1983 P quarter worth a small fortune. The Washington quarter has been a staple in American currency since 1932, when it was first introduced to commemorate the 200th birthday of George Washington. But the 1983 P mint mark quarter is particularly special. So, what happened in 1983? Why did quarters minted in this year become so sought after by collectors? Unlike most other years, the U.S. Mint didn't release mint sets in 1982 and 1983. This meant that coins from these years, especially in uncirculated condition, became harder to find as time went on. As the quarters went into circulation, many were used heavily, leading to increased wear and fewer surviving examples in top-notch condition. The lack of mint sets caused a ripple effect. Coin collectors couldn't just buy sets from the U.S. Mint, they had to rely on finding these coins in pocket change or circulation. So today, finding a 1983 P quarter in excellent, uncirculated condition is pretty rare. And as we know, rarity often means value. These coins are highly valued not just for their rarity but also for their condition. Collectors specifically seek coins graded at MS65 or higher because these grades indicate that the coins are in pristine condition. In fact, quarters graded MS67 or MS68 can fetch a premium price. Now, let's talk numbers. A 1983 P quarter in regular circulated condition won't bring in much more than its face value, but if you're lucky enough to have one in mint state, well, that's a different story. In recent auctions, 1983 P quarters graded at MS67 have sold for hundreds of dollars. And in rarer cases, those with higher grades have brought in thousands. The record for a 1983 P quarter is held by one graded at MS67, which sold for an incredible dollar to 875. Imagine finding one of these hidden in your loose change, it would definitely make for a great payday. So, how can you tell if your 1983 P quarter could be worth thousands? First, check the overall condition. The less wear and tear, the better. If the details, such as George Washington's hair and the eagle's feathers, are still sharp and clear, you may have a higher grade coin. Second, pay attention to any possible errors or unique characteristics, such as double die varieties or unusual features, as these can make your coin even more valuable. And finally, if you believe your coin is in pristine condition, consider having it professionally graded to assess its value accurately. So, who knew that a simple 1983 P. Washington quarter could be worth so much? With a bit of knowledge and some luck, you might just have a valuable piece of history tucked away in your change jar. Be sure to check those quarters before you spend them, you never know when you might come across a small fortune. We're taking a close look at the 1994 P. Mint Mark quarter dollar coin. Could this coin really be worth millions? Let's find out together. Make sure to hit the like button if you're excited about this video, subscribe for more coin collecting insights, and let's get started, let's begin with a bit of history. The 1994 P. Washington quarter is part of the standard circulating quarters produced by the Philadelphia Mint. The P. Mint mark, which stands for Philadelphia, can be seen just to the right of George Washington's neck. This particular quarter holds an important place in the Washington Quarter series, which has been minted continuously since 1932 to commemorate the 200th anniversary of Washington's birth. The Philadelphia Mint is one of the most productive mints in the U.S., and in 1994 alone, they struck over 825 million quarters. So while the coin may not seem too rare based on mintage numbers, certain conditions and errors have made some 1994 P quarters incredibly valuable. The obverse features the iconic profile of George Washington, designed by John Flanagan. This classic image has graced quarters since 1932 and is a staple of American coinage. On the reverse, you'll see the familiar image of a bald eagle with its wings spread, clutching a bundle of arrows, with an olive branch below. This eagle design represents peace and readiness to defend. The key to this quarter's potential value isn't in its design, though, it's in its rarity, condition, and possible errors. Most 1994 P quarters are worth just face value. However, 
certain variations can fetch high prices, even reaching thousands or potentially more under the right conditions. If your 1994 P quarter is in pristine condition, free from scratches, nicks, or circulation wear, it could be worth hundreds or even thousands. Collectors prize uncirculated coins with a high mint state grading. The highest grades, like MS-68 or MS-69, are incredibly rare and can command premium prices. Rare mint errors like double dies, off-center strikes, or even planchet errors can increase a coin's value drastically. Check your coin for signs of a double die, especially on the text or George Washington's profile. Some quarters may have been accidentally struck on the wrong planchet or using special finishes. These types of coins are extremely rare and sought after by serious collectors. While the standard composition of the 1994 quarter is copper nickel clad, there have been rare instances of coins accidentally struck on silver planchets, left over from previous special mintings. Such an error would make a 1994 P quarter exceptionally rare and valuable. If you happen to own a 1994 P quarter with any of these attributes, you could be sitting on a gold mine, now, let's get into some real-world examples. Some 1994 P quarters with high mint state grades have sold for upwards of $5,000 at auction. Coins that are MS-67 or higher are the most likely to achieve these prices. Rarer errors or an unexpected silver composition could increase that even further, potentially reaching tens of thousands under the right conditions. There haven't been any specific 1994 quarters that sold for millions yet, but with rare error coins, the sky's the limit, so, how can you find one of these valuable 1994 P quarters? Start by examining quarters in your change, at coin shows, or even by searching online. Look closely for any errors or signs of an unusual planchet. If you think you found something special, it's a good idea to have it authenticated by a professional grading service, like PCGS or NGC. They can help confirm if your coin is indeed rare and provide an official grade, which is crucial for determining its true market value, who knew a 1994 P quarter could potentially be worth so much. From historical significance to rare errors, this quarter holds incredible potential for collectors. If you've got a 1994 P Washington quarter, take a close look, it might just make you a small fortune. Let me know in the comments if you've ever found any rare coins or if you're planning to go on the hunt for one of these quarters. I'd love to hear your stories, and if you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button, share it with your fellow coin collectors, and don't forget to subscribe for more exciting coin finds. We're diving into the fascinating world of the 1995 D. Washington quarter. Believe it or not, some quarters from this year can be worth thousands, or even millions, of dollars. Stick around to find out how this seemingly ordinary coin could be a hidden treasure. First, let's start with a bit of history. The Washington Quarter was originally introduced in 1932 to commemorate the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth. The Quarter has remained popular ever since, and its design has gone through a few changes over the years. In 1995, the Washington Quarter was minted at the Denver Mint hence the D mint mark you'll find on these coins. This coin is made of a copper nickel clad, which replaced silver quarters back in 1965 due to the rising costs of silver. Rare errors make some coins incredibly valuable. For the 1995 D quarter, look for things like double dies, off-center strikes, or planchet errors. These mistakes happen during the minting process, and collectors will pay big bucks for them, coins in uncirculated or mint state condition can be highly desirable. Look for coins graded MS-65 or higher. Mint state coins, especially those with luster and no signs of wear, can sell for hundreds, even thousands of dollars, some of these quarters can look proof-like because of their reflective surfaces. While not true proof coins, they can add some extra value if they have a unique appearance. This is where you can see doubling on the date, lettering, or other areas. It's best seen under magnification, so grab a good magnifying glass or a jeweler's loop, look for coins with no signs of wear, like scratches, nicks, or tarnish. The shinier, the better. 
coins with design elements that aren't fully on the planchet can be worth a lot more. A small offset could make it rare. Alright, so let's talk money. How much could your 1995 D quarter be worth? In average circulated condition, it's likely worth just face value. But if you have one in pristine, uncirculated condition, the value can jump significantly, regular mint state coins might be worth between $20 and $100, depending on the grade. But error coins, especially with significant die errors, can fetch anywhere from $500 to several thousand dollars. Now, if you somehow have a truly unique 1995 D quarter, like one with a previously unknown and highly desirable error, there's a possibility, however small, that it could be worth a huge sum at auction. Rare coins have surprised everyone with million-dollar bids before, but remember, it's a rarity. So, there you have it. The 1995 D. Washington Quarter might seem like just another coin, but under the right conditions, it could be worth a small fortune. If you have one, take a closer look, and who knows? You might just have a hidden gem in your pocket change, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and let us know in the comments if you have any rare coins. And remember, we post new videos every week, so stay tuned for more treasures. We're diving into the fascinating history of a modern-day rarity, the 1995 P. Mint Mark Washington Quarter Dollar. This coin might seem ordinary at first glance, but stick around, because you won't believe the story behind it and how it could be worth millions, asterisk, the Washington Quarter was first issued in 1932 to commemorate the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth. Over the years, it's become one of the most recognized coins in the United States, with several changes in design and composition. But today, we're focusing on the 1995 P. Mint Mark Quarter Dollar, minted in Philadelphia, as denoted by the P. Mark, 1995 wasn't necessarily an extraordinary year for the quarter, with millions produced at the Philadelphia Mint. However, certain unique characteristics and errors in some of these quarters have created a buzz, leading some collectors to believe that these coins could be worth a fortune. The 1995 P quarter typically consists of a standard copper nickel blend and features George Washington on the obverse, or front, and the American Eagle on the reverse, or back. However, some of these quarters have caught the attention of collectors due to their unusual features and mint errors. Mint errors to look for, some of the potential errors include double die strikes, where parts of the design appear duplicated, as well as rare misstrikes that could add significant value to the coin. Occasionally, you'll also find coins with die cracks, leading to unique markings that make these quarters stand out from the rest. So why all this talk of millions? While number 1995 P quarter has officially sold for millions, rumors circulate in the coin collecting community about rare versions fetching sky high prices. When you combine factors like rarity, condition, and market demand, a single coin could theoretically reach astonishing let's not forget, a coin's condition plays a huge role in its value. Quarters graded by professional grading companies, like NGC or PCGS, with high ratings such as MS68 or above, could be worth thousands on their own. And if an extremely rare error is found in such pristine condition, it might push the coin into the million-dollar conversation. Look for coins in high-grade conditions, with minimal wear, check for double dies, die cracks, or misstrikes that could boost the value. If you think you found a gem, consider having it professionally graded to authenticate its value. It's worth noting that while rumors of million-dollar quarters are rare, the market for collectible coins has grown immensely in recent years. Auction prices have skyrocketed, and collectors are constantly on the lookout for the next big find. Who knows, maybe you have a hidden treasure right in your pocket change. So, if you come across a 1995 P Mint Mark quarter, be sure to give it a closer look. You might just be holding on to a small fortune. We're diving into a fascinating find, the 1996 P Mint Mark Washington Quarter Dollar Coin, a coin that's worth a lot more than just 25 cents to collectors. Some of these coins have actually sold for millions of dollars. Now, let's start with a little history on this coin. The Washington Quarter has been in circulation since 1932, 
initially introduced to celebrate the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth. The 1996 quarter, specifically, was minted at the Philadelphia Mint, hence the P. Mint Mark. You'll find this P. Mint Mark just behind Washington's ponytail on the front, or obverse, of the coin. In 1996, over 925 million quarters were struck at the Philadelphia Mint. That sounds like a lot, right? But what sets a few of these 1996 P quarters apart are unique errors and high grade versions. These rare examples are what drive collectors wild, and if you happen to have one, you could be sitting on a small fortune. Let's take a closer look at the design. On the front, we have the iconic profile of George Washington, which has been a symbol of American currency for decades. Flip it over to the back, or reverse, and you'll see the classic eagle perched with outspread wings, clutching a bundle of arrows and olive branches, a powerful symbol of peace and strength. While the design itself isn't unusual, what makes certain 1996 P quarters rare are errors like double dies or coins struck on improperly prepared planchets. These errors create unique characteristics that can significantly increase a coin's value. Now, onto the big question, what makes the 1996 P quarter worth so much money? Well, like most coins, the condition or grade plays a massive role. Coins graded MS-68 or MS-69, that's near-perfect condition, by reputable agencies like PCGS or NGC can reach sky-high prices. These grades are incredibly rare and can fetch tens of thousands or even millions of dollars in the right market. In fact, just recently, one of these high-grade 1996 P quarters sold for an astonishing amount at auction. Why? Well, there are very few of these coins that have been preserved in such mint condition, making them highly sought after by collectors. The rarity and the grade both contribute to its incredible value. Besides grade, other factors can influence the coin's worth. These include unique mint errors, eye appeal, and historical interest. So if you come across a 1996 P quarter with any of these special characteristics, you might just have a hidden gem on your hands. Alright, now I bet you're wondering, do you have a valuable 1996 P quarter? First, check the mint mark to make sure it's from Philadelphia. Then, take a close look under a magnifying glass for any doubling on the lettering or unusual features. And finally, if it looks to be in exceptional condition, consider getting it graded. Collectors, remember to store your coins carefully. Even tiny scratches or smudges can reduce a coin's value. Protect your quarters in coin sleeves or cases and handle them only by the edges. We're diving into the fascinating world of coin collecting with an exciting topic, the 1998 P Mint Mark Quarter Dollar. You might not think of a quarter as anything special, but if you've got the right one, it could be worth an unbelievable amount. So, what makes this coin so valuable? Let's find out. The 1998 P quarter dollar comes from the Philadelphia Mint, where millions of coins are struck every year. That year, the U.S. Mint produced over 896 million quarters with the P Mint mark. At first glance, these quarters might seem like just any other coin, but certain unique features can make some of them extremely valuable. But here's the catch, it's not just about the P Mint mark. It's about the tiny details and some rare errors that collectors dream of finding. So, what should you look for? First, let's talk about errors. 1998 was a year when a few special varieties of this quarter were struck with errors. These errors can include double die obverse, where the designs on the coin appear doubled, especially noticeable on Washington's face and the words, Liberty or, In God We Trust. A double die coin can drastically increase its value. Additionally, some 1998 quarters show what's known as a struck through grease error. This happens when grease or other materials clog parts of the coin die, leading to missing details on the coin. If you spot one of these in your change, you might be in for a treat. But why would someone pay millions for a 1998 P quarter? Well, in the world of coin collecting, rarity is everything. 
Even though millions of these coins were made, the ones with rare errors or those in pristine, uncirculated condition are highly coveted. In fact, some 1998 quarters in mint state with perfect errors have fetched incredible amounts at auction. And in the rare case where multiple errors are found on the same coin, or if the coin has an especially dramatic error, its value could skyrocket. We're talking hundreds of thousands to even millions of dollars in some cases. So, how can you tell if you've got one of these rare treasures? First, grab a magnifying glass or a jeweler's loop and inspect your quarter for any visible errors. Look for doubling on the words, unusual shapes, or any strange markings. You can also take your coin to a professional coin grader or send it to a grading service like PCGS or NGC for authentication. Once you've confirmed you have a valuable 1998 P quarter, there are several ways to sell it. You can go through a reputable auction house, list it on online marketplaces like eBay, or reach out to specialty coin dealers who can help you get the best price. So, there you have it. If you happen to come across a 1998 P mint mark quarter dollar, don't just toss it in your pocket change. Give it a closer look, you might be holding on to a piece of history worth millions. Thanks for watching, and if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more amazing coin collecting insights. Until next time, happy hunting! We're diving into the story of the 1999D Mint Mark Washington Quarter that some collectors say could be worth millions of dollars. Make sure to stick around to find out why this particular quarter is so special and what makes it potentially so valuable. First, let's talk a bit about the history of the 1999D Mint Mark Washington Quarter. 1999 was an exciting year for quarter collectors, as it was the first year of the U.S. Mint State Quarters program. This program aimed to release quarters featuring designs for all 50 states over a 10-year period, with five different states featured each year. The 1999 quarters celebrated Delaware, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Georgia, and Connecticut, with each state's design capturing something significant about its history and culture. These quarters were minted in both Philadelphia and Denver, and the quarters from Denver carry the D mint mark. But, as with many coins, not all 1999D quarters are created equal. Certain coins from this year gained attention due to their rarity and uniqueness. There are error coins from the Denver Mint that collectors seek out and prize for their value. Some notable errors include double strikes, off-center strikes, and die cracks. These errors make the coins one-of-a-kind and, therefore, incredibly valuable to collectors. So, how valuable can a 1999D Mint Mark Washington quarter really be? Well, in the world of coin collecting, rarity and demand are everything. Error coins are especially popular because they're rare. In fact, some serious collectors are willing to pay top dollar, even up to millions, for the right piece. For example, a coin with a unique error or one that is in exceptionally pristine condition might go for thousands, or even millions, in high-profile auctions. This is especially true if it's one of only a few known examples. Imagine holding a quarter that could pay off your mortgage or buy you a brand new car. Check for anything unusual, such as misaligned designs, doubled images, or cracks on the coin. These could indicate a valuable error. The better the condition, the higher the value. Look for coins with minimal wear and no scratches or dings. If you think you have a rare find, consider having it graded by a professional service, like the Professional Coin Grading Service, PCGS, or Numismatic Guarantee Corporation, NGC. Graded coins are more valuable to collectors. So, could you have a 1999 Deed Mint Mark Washington quarter worth millions just sitting in your pocket change? Maybe. Remember, it's all about rarity, errors, and condition. If you're a coin collector or just someone curious about the value of the change in your pocket, keep an eye out for those rare error coins. Who knows? You might just strike it rich with a quarter.